Hello friends, and today I want to quickly show you how you can change your layout here in OpenTunes. And this follows on from last week's walkthrough video of OpenTunes 1.5, showing how you can animate using this free animation program. And you can see a link to that in the card above and in the description below. And if you'd like to be notified of future tutorials about OpenTunes, then subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I release them. But today I want to focus on changing the layout. And that's to make the interface easier to navigate and the program easier to use. And the first thing to discuss are the rooms. And the rooms are the basic way that you organize what you see on screen. When you first download and run OpenTunes, you have rooms already set up. We've got the drawing room that you see here. And for most new users, this is going to be the room that you'll use most often. There's also the cleanup room, the palette room, ink and paint, animation room, the schematic room, the egg sheet room, tasks room, and the browser room. And I won't discuss what each of these rooms are for right now, we'll stick initially to using just the drawing room. And each room is made up of a number of windows. So in this room, we've got the viewer window in the very centre, where you do your drawing, the timeline at the bottom, the palette window towards the right hand side, a window for adjusting your colours, the level strip for showing the drawings in the current drawing level, then the toolbar to the very left, and when you select a tool, you'll get the tool options bar across the top. And if you don't like any of these windows, you can simply Click the bar at the top of the window and then drag it away and that's called undocking. And you can leave this window floating to work with or you can press the X at the top right hand corner of the window to close it. And that's given you a lot more space for adjusting the other windows and for drawing in. But if you change your mind and want to bring it back or want to bring something else into this room you can find all of the windows listed in the windows menu. So just open that up and then find the window you want to show. So if we bring back the level strip, I just click it off the Windows menu. It'll appear, and I can then redock it by dragging the header of that window, and then placing it where I'd like to dock it. And you see this red bar showing you the height of the window when you release the mouse. And you can resize by simply moving your cursor to the side, and then clicking and dragging to get the best size. So you can go ahead and close some of the windows in the current room or add new windows from the windows menu. But sometimes when you try to resize one of the windows, you may accidentally click and drag on the header and undock one of the panels, which you might find is a little tricky to redock. So to avoid that, you can lock the room so you can't undock the windows. And in last week's video, I recommended that you keep your rooms locked so you can't accidentally undock any windows when you don't want to. And you do that from the Windows menu again, down to Workspace, and tick the box Lock Room Panes. And now I can't accidentally click and drag that window away from the docked area. But I can still resize it, and resize the windows around it. And if you decide that you've made a mess of your layout, and want to revert back to the original layout, you can simply go back to the Windows menu, Workspace, and choose Reset to Default Rooms. And then when you restart OpenTunes, the window layouts will be as they were when you first installed. So you can't really go wrong. You can always revert back to the original layout. And one last thing, you can create and delete rooms yourself. So let's do that quickly before we finish. So to create a new room, you just right click on any of the room tabs and choose new room. And that creates a new room button, as you can see here. You can then double click it and give it a sensible name. And I'd recommend naming it after the purpose of the room. So this room's purpose is having a large drawing area. So I'll call it large drawing. So again, to add windows to this room, simply go to the windows menu and choose the window to add. First we'll add the viewer control. 
And to be able to dock the viewer control, we need to untick the lock room panes option. And now, when we click and drag the first item, you see a red square around the outside. And when you release, that'll dock the viewer to the whole window. So next, I want to add the toolbar. So again, from the Windows menu, I'll click the toolbar. And I want to dock that to the very left. You'll notice that when you first go to the very left, you can't dock the toolbar to the left-hand side of the screen. And this is a small bug with OpenTunes, that when the main program is fully maximized, you can't always dock to the left or right-hand sides of the screen. And to be able to do that, you just take the main screen out of maximize mode by clicking this middle button. And now, if I click and drag the toolbar, I can dock it to the very left. And I'll also want to have the tool options bar, so I'll open that and dock that to the very top. So I can change the size of the brush or eraser or choose all of the other options that you've got for each tool. And the final thing I want to include is the palette window. So I'll dock that to the right hand side and then maximize the main screen and I can change the size of each panel to suit. And now if I right click on the viewer I can choose fit to window and I've got a much larger drawing area than I had in the main drawing room. And again, when you're finished, simply go to the Windows menu, Workspace Flyout and lock your room panes so you can't accidentally undock any windows that you've already docked. But then if you change your mind about this room and want to remove it, you just have to change to another room, then you can right click on the room you don't want and choose Delete Room. Confirm you want to delete it, and that'll be gone. So there we go. It's really quick and easy to adjust your rooms and panels in the rooms to make the layout that will help you most while you animate. So go ahead and change your rooms. It'll make OpenTunes easier to work with. And that's a guarantee. Have you always wanted to animate but didn't know how to start and software seemed expensive and difficult to use? Well, with OpenTunes, it's free, powerful, and once you know how, it's easy to use. And it's my mission to get you animating with it today. Hi, my name's Darren, and I've been teaching OpenTunes for the past three years, showing thousands of students, just like you, how easy it is to animate with, and cutting through the jargon to show that anyone can animate with it. And by the end of the course, you'll be able to animate traditionally using OpenTunes. And the course is designed for students brand new to OpenTunes, as well as those new to animation. So take a look at the free lessons I've offered below, and then why not sign up and join me animating traditionally with OpenTunes. Mm -hmm.